Hello everyone. I am your science teacher and today I will tell you something about how a body works. As you know, a body is covered with skin and under the skin lie muscles and under the muscles lie bones. The bones protect many organs that lie inside the body. You can see some organs in this picture like brain, heart, lungs, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, liver. These are all different types of organs. Some organs which you cannot see in this picture are hidden behind the organs you can see here. Now next. Organs. What are organs? Parts of the body that have special jobs to do are called organs. Eyes, ear, tongue, nose and skin are some organs and they are called sense organs. The brain is the organ that tells the other organs what to do. And heart is the organ which pumps blood. Many organs work together. For example, the nose and lungs work together to help us to breathe. So organs that work together form an organ system. So this is the picture of, a, of an organ system and this is called a digestive system. The food we eat cannot be used by our body just as it is. It has to be turned into simple liquid before it can be absorbed. So the process by which food changes into a form that the body can absorb is called digestion. This is the definition of digestion. Many organs work together to digest the food we eat. Together, they form the digestive system like mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver. All this together form an organ system and this organ system is known as the digestive system. Is it clear students? No. The mouth. Now, our digestion starts in the mouth. The teeth and there are teeth inside our mouth. These teeth break the food into small particles or small pieces when we chew. The tongue which is present inside our mouth helps to mix the food with saliva which is present inside our mouth too. Saliva is the liquid which is present inside the mouth which we generally call spit. This spit helps us to digest food. When we swallow, this pasty food mixed with saliva get pushed into the food pipe. See, now this is the picture of our mouth inside which there are several different types of teeth present. Okay. See properly. The front teeth. Now. All these teeth seen in this picture do not look alike. All are different in shapes and sizes. And they do not have the same job to do. Like the four front teeth in each jaw have sharp edges and they are called incisors. We use the incisors to bite our foot. On each side of the incisors you can see some pointed teeth which are called canines. We use these canines to tear food and there are four canines in all. See the picture of canines? Now next. Now 
Next to each canine, there are five large flat teeth. The first two are smaller and are called premolars. And the next three are larger. See? And they are called molars. Incisors, then canines, then premolars and then molars. We use these teeth for chewing and grinding. Premolars and molars are used for chewing and grinding. So there are 8 premolars and 12 molars in all. Young people only have 8 molars. The last 2 molars and the end of each job come out when the person is about 21 years. So an adult has 32 teeth. There are 8 incisors, 4 canines, 8 premolars and 12 molars. Babies are born without teeth. That is why they have only milk. Babies are born without teeth and so they can't chew. So they have only milk. Teeth start growing out of the gum when a baby is about 6 months old. By the age of 3, a child has 20 teeth. These teeth are called milk teeth. Milk teeth start falling when a child is about 6 years. The teeth that grow in their place are called permanent teeth. Thank you children.